Good morning guys, welcome to the video today. Remember how I told you the other day that the electric chainsaw broke? Well, the part has finally came in. Literally from the time I ordered it to the time it got to my door was three days. So this was the old part. This is the part that makes the chain move so that the chainsaw will cut wood. The teeth at the bottom there are all ground out. So you can see how they're ground out there. The new part came, and um, let me get it opened here. So this is the new part. The teeth on this part are actually super nice. And then these teeth are all brand new. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna fix the chainsaw today, but I'm gonna do it later. We're gonna go cut some wood with the new chainsaw, and then while we're fixing the old chainsaw, we'll charge the battery, and we'll see how long, we'll see how long the battery takes to charge. So, here we go. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can tell from the last video, but I am not a professional with the chainsaw. So we're going to get some more practice today before I make a how-to chainsaw video. So what we're going to do is we've got a few down trees in here. Um, and I really want to make some good, good videos for this chainsaw here. About the battery length and how good everything works and... Um, so, and we need to get the firewood cut up before it's too cold to be outside. Because apparently this winter is supposed to be one of the worst winters ever. According to people who sell uh, products that need cold weather to be sold. So, um, so we're going to go cut this up. Let me get, let's get into the woods. And just so you know, I didn't put any bar oil in it this morning. So we are still on the first, first, um... I don't know what you call that reservoir of uh, bar oil um, so I'll keep an eye on it I kind of want to see how many batteries it'll go through before you need to replace or add bar oil but um we'll get in here so we're gonna have to make a path so then you just turn it on light lights up make sure the brake is off so then make sure the brake is off. And, well, that just turned it on. So you want to make sure the brake is off. And then you push this button, and then it cuts. And I don't know if I said it enough times in the video the other day, but I am so impressed with this chainsaw. I absolutely love it. And um, I am going to get some safety equipment in case anybody is wondering about that. All right, so look, we got a bunch of we got a bunch of down trees here, so I'm going to try to cut them up. I mean, there's a whole bunch of down stuff. But what we would like is to have a path all the way through here, straight down, so we could drive the four wheelers through it. And also, we want to get all of the wood out of here before the farmer decides he's going to cut down all the trees. And we don't have any firewood because um, these are basically the tree line is the only wood we have to use for camp firewood. And once that's gone, we don't we won't have any trees to cut up.
so we got our first battery done. This is what we got cut up in the woods. It's just one row this time. I'm not sure if it's because there was uh, all of the logs were bigger. Like the last time I had a couple small logs and I did have to cut up some pretty good sized ones. But um, regardless, it's still more wood than you want to have to carry out of the woods. So we got the battery charging right now. Maybe we'll be lucky and by the time we get up there, it'll be fully charged and we can get back at it. And this time we're going to add some bar oil. And uh, if the battery's not charged, we're going to fix the other chainsaw. But as you can see, we're getting a pretty good stockpile of wood so that we can split it up and let it dry out for next summer for the campfires. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have got one of these, but um, if you've never seen it, what it is is it's a kindling cracker. You're supposed to be able to take your firewood and split it up and uh, make kindling out of it so it's easy to start fires. But um, honestly, I use it as a wood splitter. So As long as your piece is not bigger than the hole, you can put it in there. And then you just use your little sledgehammer. And you can hit it. And that's a bad example because that piece of wood is a piece of junk. That was a pretty soggy piece of wood. Here's a better piece. So, you put your piece of wood on there, you give her a couple whacks. And then it splits it. And you would be surprised how much moisture is inside of a piece of wood and how long it actually takes it to dry out. But it is way easier to do it this way than to like try to use a splitting maul or a big ax to split that in half. And you got a little piece of kindling and you got your log so then you can just let it dry out and then the next time you go to start your fire you, you can use the little pieces of kindling to get it started and then you'll have dry firewood all right so let's go see if the uh, battery is charged up it is not so one thing I did see on the internet is the benefit of buying the bigger battery I think it's like I don't know if it's the 300 battery or if it I don't know what number it is, but um, they said that it would last as long as it would take to charge a battery. So basically, if you had two batteries, you could use one. When that one died, you could plug it in. You could use the other one. When that one died, you could use the other one. You know, you could keep doing it to where if you had one of those power converters, you could just charge it in your little Ranger or whatever, or your pickup truck or your car or, I don't know, your Mini Cooper. Um, and... Um, and then you could work all the time as long as you added the bar oil and stuff. And if you're curious about how much bar oil is left. So we went through two batteries and there's still what appears to be about half to two thirds of the window left. I'm going to add it this time just because I don't want to run out and ruin my saw. But, uh, but we are going to put the pieces into the other chainsaw. Let me get the lights on. Let me set this up. Let's see if we can put it back together. It was kind of a bugger. All right, well, we fixed the chainsaw. If you want to see the whole chainsaw video, um, click the link in the description or at the end of the video. But um, our battery is only two bars. It's blinking on two bars. So we got some other stuff we need to do while we wait for it to charge. That's where it would be handy to have two batteries or to be able to, um, this is, this is the other reason I wanted to fix this chainsaw because my plan is is if I can use this out in the woods to cut up the pieces into like say six to eight foot pieces I can haul them to the barn and then I can use this chainsaw to cut them into short pieces while the battery charges all right well it's after lunch and our battery is fully charged so we're gonna get back at it first we got to put some bar oil in our chainsaw so if you want to see how to do that click the link at the top of the screen here and you can um, see how we do that all right, so now that we got the bar oil put in it, let's load it up in the ranger and let's finish cutting these trees up. Oh, better grab the coffee. 
And in case you're wondering, the goal of uh, this whole wood cutting thing is, is to keep the farmer happy so he doesn't cut down all of these trees. And then um, they kind of make like a border around our property. But um, it also makes it so it's real private. Because like, if you cut this down, it's just miles and miles of farmland. So, um, and you would be able to see the road. It makes it a little more private back here. Um, so we have a little private field. So, so that's the goal. And then also we want to have enough firewood so that we don't have to buy camp firewood for when we want to have little bonfires. Because we don't have very many trees besides this row of trees on our property. We got a couple dead trees we can cut down, which I'll show you those in a little bit on the way back up. But um, yeah, we just want to keep the farmer happy so he doesn't cut down all of these trees. So here we are, these trees, as you can see, fell out into his field and then there was another big one down there a little ways that we've started to cut up. And um, so I'm gonna cut all these, all these trees up right here and then we'll put them in the back of the ranger. Hopefully we'll be able to make it through all of this wood before the battery dies again. Okay, so we were able to get through all four of those trees on one battery. We got, I got to the last cut and we had a flashing bar left. So I'm just gonna pick all this up just in case it rains. But I mean, that's quite a bit of wood for one battery charge. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go put that battery on the charger and see if by the time I get to unloading and unloading the wood, if the battery's charged. All right, so it is 1.45 right now. And we'll see what time it is when we get done hauling the wood. All right, guys. So this is what we've got for wood that we cut up on the third, third charge of the battery. So all of this is full. And it's, it's this high. So it's about two feet high across the back of the Ranger. And it's pretty good size wood. I mean, look at that. That's pretty good size. So the plan is, is that if I can cut logs this size, I should be able to cut quite a few pieces and then um, I can haul them to the barn and then I can cut them up with the electric chainsaw so I mean that's the plan as you can see we got a lot of trees we need to cut down so if I can cut them in four or five foot sections load them in here then haul them to the woods it, it should work out pretty good because then that way I can cut this up while the battery's charging during the hauling and cutting up process all right, well it is 2.02, so it took us about 17 minutes to load that wood up. Now we gotta unload it. And then just in case you think this is boring, one reason you should stick around is eventually we're gonna make a video where we cut, where we cut that tree down right there, this pine tree, right? The dead one, that's right here. We're gonna cut this pine tree down. And, uh, or should I say, we're gonna fell it with our electric chainsaw. And then also we're gonna try to cut this big, this big oak tree down, which is like, I don't know, I think it's like three foot across. That I probably should do for a professional, but um, just so we can prove what this chainsaw can do, I think we should at least try to chop it down or saw it down with the battery powered chainsaw. And if it goes bad, well, hopefully it'll get a lot of views. All right, well, it's 2.17, so it's been about a half hour. Let's go check the battery. What do you think? Oh, we're at one and a half bars, so it's been about 30 minutes. Looks like we got to find something else to do before we can cut some more wood. Well, good thing is, is we still have some wood that we cut up when we first moved here that we need to... Uh, We'll 
just load that up real quick and put it in the in the barn before it gets too wet. So yeah, this earlier in this in the springtime we came out and cut up this big pile of ash and stuff. And uh, so we'll just take and pick up the little pieces, put it in the barn, and then as we get time we will take and um, split it. And we really only have like one I think like four more big logs, so I may haul those a little closer so I can cut them up with the electric chainsaw and not have to run the extension cord all the way over there by the pool. But ideally, I would like to get this all cleared out so that we can put some kind of, either put apple trees over here or um, just get something else growing instead of all these picker bushes. All right, so we got it loaded up. And uh, basically, this is all the wood that we got from all those trees that were laying over there. So we got about three rows. And ideally, if we can split it up, I mean, that's quite a bit of firewood that we'll have for our campfires. All right, so we got it all loaded up. Hopefully it'll dry out. As you can see, it's a little wet. All right, so it's 2.39. It's almost been an hour. So we'll see how close it is to being fully charged. Grab Amelia's DS she left in here the other day. Grab my coffee. All right, so like I said, it's been almost an hour. And we are real close to being done. So the last bar is blinking. So that means we're getting close. But that it was the second and third charge of the battery. So if you would like to see um, the first charge, how much wood we cut up with the very first charge, you can uh, click this video right here. If you want to see more chainsaw videos to see if you want to purchase one of these, you can click over here in the sidebar. And then also if you want to purchase one of these, and you've already made your mind up, there's a link down in the description below that you can get one on Amazon and they'll mail it right to your house and you can start cutting with your battery powered chainsaw. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and don't forget, don't leave your keys in your ranger because there's people out there that'll steal it.